Hi, this is Happy Happy Joy Joy with Christmas with the Cricut, and today we are making this super beautiful and easy simple card because it's Simple Card Monday. All I'm doing is using the card feature cut from the Winter Woodland cartridge, and then I'm going to cuddle bug, and then I'm going to show you how to put a nice glittery background here and do an inside piece, and you are done. So let's get started. Step one is I'm looking in my Winter Woodland Handbook and I decide I want to make this card. It is on page 35. It is snowflake number four. So what I am going to do is I've loaded my mat actually with an eight half by 11 sheet of cardstock. And um, I've gone ahead and I'm gonna feed that into the machine. And then all I'm going to be doing while I do this is I'm going to press the card feature key and then this fourth snowflake on the top. So that is it. How easy is that? And then I'm going to press five inches because I want my card to be five inches tall. I'm going to roll it into five inches and make sure my other settings look good and they do. And there you go. Okay, our next step is to cut this backing that is going to go on the card and it's going to cover the taped area. And we need this tape here because that's what's holding the glitter onto the front, the little glitter sparkle that you can see. So let's get started with that. First thing is I've loaded my paper in and moved my blade over three and a half and down three and a half. I've set my dial to three and a half and I've turned on my center point feature. I'm going to go ahead and cut a circle out first, and then I'm going to use center point again and cut a square out, so of a different size. So let's get started with that. Here is my circle. It is on the bottom row key, the first, the first one on the left. So I'm going to go ahead and press that in and hit cut, and I have center point highlighted here. Now the circle has been cut out and here's what's great about center point. The blade goes exactly back to the center of the item that you just cut. So now when I go ahead and do my square, I don't have to reset this blade and try to find the center. So I'm going to go ahead and set my sizing to four and three quarters because my card was five inches and I'm going to hit shift. Well, let me show you first on the overlay. Here's the overlay again, and square is just the next one over. This is plant in school book. I um, can't remember if I said that or not. Everybody knows the expression pretty much gets planted, but these shapes are also on George. They're on some other cartridges too, mini monograms and whatnot. So this, these shapes can definitely be found. So I'm going to hit my square. I change my sizing to four and three quarters, and I'm going to hit cut center point, still highlighted. This is what got cut out, and what's great is I know for sure it is exactly the right size to fit here. And you know, that is just going to save me so much time. If I wanted to start making these in a sequence, I could. Our next step is to take the Cuddlebug Snowflakes folder, and we're going to go ahead and Cuddlebug just the front of the card. And what we want to do is take a real close look at where the snowflakes stop and start on this. So if you'll notice, up at the fold, there aren't any snowflakes. So from like the word cuddle bug across, no snowflakes. So you want to just be aware of that. So I'm going to go ahead and lay my card in it. Card folds like that. Okay. I have got, this is my sandwich for my cuddle bug. This is the A plate, a B plate. I'm going to shove that in there too far. I put my little sandwich together here. And I'm going to have a second B plate. Actually, I can't wrap that around because that will make it harder to roll this. And now I'm going to go ahead and roll it on through. I'm going to have to do a second pass because as you see, what's going on over here? Oh no! So we have to go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to pull it through. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball and line this up as best as possible. Sometimes I don't really like how that that snowflake matches over there. So I'm going to turn the folder and see if I like this side better. And I do. So I'm going to go with that. This is kind of a good chance if you did it off center at all. 
what's so great about these snowflakes is you'll never see that. Yay! Love it when you don't see anything like that. So, because <laughs> maybe sometimes that happens to you too. So I'm going to go ahead and feed this back through. I'm trying to be real careful not to mess it up. And zippity doo dah. And the whole thing is now cuddle bugged. Now we're going to go on to putting the packing tape here and doing some glitter. Okay, let's get ready to glitter. I have my card here. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And I've got a roll of packing tape here. It's about two inches wide. The big thing you want to know here is it's going to take two um, layers of it, but what we're going to do is lay the top layer here, and since we have a nice line across, nobody will ever see where they meet because we're going to tape right to there. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my packing tape, and I've got a tip for you here, and that is be very careful not to put your fingers in the center of the packing tape because that is where the glitter is going to go, and if you do that, then it won't stick. Ask me how I know these things, people. Ask me how I know. Okay, so I'm going to go, here's my packing tape. Very hard to see. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to line it up with this center line of the snowflake. And it's just tape. And I'm putting it on. Here's a, another tip. I'm putting it on my craft mat because it will come back off my craft mat. If you happen to do this over another piece of paper, you now have stuck your card to another piece of paper. That's a problem. <laughs> Again... Will not review how I know those things too. So, see that is why we do these videos. So we can make those mistakes and then tell you about them. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get the second layer of packing tape and again meet it up in the center. And how easy is that? And stick it down and I'm going to lift it up and now I have my little clear part I'm going to stick my glitter on. So we'll get um, the official glitter tray. You'll laugh and then uh, I'll show you how we're going to glitter. Now, I just went ahead and added my sentiment, and I had stuck on a blue rhinestone a minute ago, and then I didn't like it. So I picked it off, and I put a regular one. And there you go. So thanks for joining us for Simple Card Monday. This really is a nice, quick project, and the sparkles just make this so fun. It is just the most gorgeous thing. So I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care.